Let's talk to David Paul. He is the MD of Vector Vest UK. Very good morning to you, David. Good morning, Moss. Right, we have a number of slides to go through. Let's kick off without further ado. The um, first one, precision swing trading. What is that? Well, it is a proprietary Vector Vest technique uh, to find uh, shares with impeccable fundamentals yep. that are in the throes of a strong trend and then finding them at support at a very good level to get on board. And uh, it's a, a search in our UniSearch uh, tab on, on, on VectorVest 7, which allows you to find uh, precision swing trading opportunities each and every morning. And swing trading, by definition, is day trading, effectively? No, no, no. Swing trading would be, uh, in fact, holding positions uh, that last uh, from a few days to a few weeks, maybe a month. Okay. So uh, markets go up the page in a series of uh, rising bottoms. So what we're trying to do is to pick the eyes off the trend, to find those high momentum moves within the overall trend. Understood. Okay. So let's move on to the UK market time. You've got a short-term indicator and a long-term indicator. Are they both turned up now? Well, yes, they're both turned up. And uh, in the words of my Old rugby coach, the ball is in, the game is on. Right. Uh, so so uh, you're fully loaded. Well, yes. The uh, uh, short-term trend is up, and it's been up. I've been talking about it uh, on your show for the last, uh, what, three weeks Number now? Number weeks, yeah. Uh, like we had talked about the key support level, didn't uh, we? That's correct. So uh, both the short-term trend and the long-term trend are running up. And on the next slide, we can probably look at the more well-known FTSE itself, yep. uh, which came off that 62% level. That I think the level was 7 230 something and it found support at that level and uh, that's a very bullish pattern and it's had a nice run up the page when I last looked it was pretty flat this morning but I think it looks good for uh, a further advance uh, from here maybe a bit of a pullback before it goes again understood I think we're at four week high so that was a great support level for you oh, I was a cracking level yes yeah. and that's a highly uh, uh, probable pattern uh, made famous by an old fellow called Gartley uh, many 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 years ago uh, it's a pattern that stood me in very good stead over the years. Yeah, we like that. Okay, let's move on to the US of A. Um, in terms of the market timing here, are we on a buy signal? Yes, uh, the, the, the American market uh, is running very strongly. Uh, the S&P's made new highs. Uh, uh, the founder of VectorVest, Dr. Bart Toledo, uh, has got a fundamental model uh, that looks at earnings, interest rates and inflation and he still believes that we're in a, a strong bull market fundamentally. My right. model technically says that we're in a bull market. The only worrying thing about it must, is that the market is rising and climbing that proverbial wall of worry but the breadth of the market is not coming to the yeah. party at all so it's, it's rising and falling breadth and that's never a good sign. So I've advised, but it's different this time, right? <laughs> well, I've advised all our Vectorvest uh, UK customers to manage risk very uh, tightly uh, until that uh, yep. changes. Okay, let's move on to the next slide, relative safety. What is this about? Well, uh, Vectorvest sorts and ranks all of the shares in, uh, on the uh, London stock market and on AIM uh, by value, safety of earnings and the trend. Uh, and uh, this is our uh, measure of the safety of the earnings, uh, relative safety. So it looks at uh, earnings consistency, it looks at all the financial ratios, it looks how long the company's been around, little measure of volatility, and uh, it munches those all up and spits out one number which represents the safety and the predictability of the earnings stream on a scale between zero and two. Above 1.3 is good, 1.3 is excellent in fact, and above 1.3, that's a company that's making money, and all those ghastly financial ratios are getting better. Uh, and in my little model for precision uh, swing trading, I'm looking for shares with a very high relative safety. Okay. Uh, and in the next slide, I'm also looking for shares uh, that have a strong underlying trend. Now, we measure the long-term trend on VectorVest by a proprietary uh, indicator called the, the Comfort Index. And the comfort index looks at three things. It looks at the trend, yep. uh, it looks at the volatility of the trend, and yep. it looks at the fundamentals. Okay. If you've got a share that's trending strongly with little volatility yep. and the fundamentals are improving, those all score well on the comfort index. And clearly, if you've got a share that's trending your way with little volatility and the fundamentals are improving, that should offer you some comfort. Right. And that's why yep. it's called the comfort index. So, okay. Um, uh, in uh, my precision uh, swing trading uni search, I'm looking for shares with a high relative safety, uh, with a high 
Comfort Index, uh, looking for a share. Uh, great, great fundamentals that is trending strongly. And the third part of the, the search uh, is uh, in the next slide, which is, uh, I think, the stochastic indicator uh, that was designed by an old friend of mine called George Lane. I did a seminar in 1986. Did you know George Lane? Yes, oh, I did a seminar in okay. 1986. Uh, and uh, uh, George uh, looked at... Uh, the momentum of the price, the first derivative price, and he scaled that between zero and 100. Below 20, uh, the share is said to be oversold. Above 80, it was said to be overbought. Now, in my little search, I look for shares that have got a, a very high relative safety, safety and predictability of the yep. earnings, that are in the throes of a very strong trend, where the stochastic has been down below 20 and has just come up through 20. Which is a classic buy signal okay. on the technicals. Especially if you've got a trend and you've got the fundamentals behind you. And by putting those all together, that's why I call this precision swing trading. And, so and it, it came out from, uh, in the next slide, uh, we have this uh, company called Craneware. And Craneware gave a signal, I think, on the 7th of August. And uh, since that, uh, the share has gone from £20 to £35 pounds well. based on that particular signal. But that's hindsight. If I get one out of ten that does that, I'd be happy. Yep. Uh, but uh, s some signals that we've got uh, more recently, uh, uh, when I did this uh, the other day, uh, in the next slide, uh, this uh, came out of the search, uh, I think, yesterday, the day before. Uh, this is McFarland, and I particularly like the share because it, it ran strongly. It then pulled back, and technicians watching will see the bull flag. Within the bull flag, there's five waves, which is really good. It's broken. It's come back and kissed, and uh, the general market is now moving up. Uh, the longer-term trend is moving up, and I would expect McFarland to actually join in that move. It's uh, in the throes of a long-term trend. Fundamentals of the share in terms of relative safety are good, and it's coming out of an oversold uh, position. And that's what my precision swing trading Unisearch finds, gives those opportunities every day. Okay. Uh, so let's move on to the next one, GB Group. Well, the GB Group came out of the search on the same day as the uh, uh, McFarland, and as you can see, trends strongly up the page, uh, and uh, it's at it's pulled back to support, and the stochastic has come up uh, through 20. The fundamentals are excellent on this little share. Okay, and uh, to wrap up with, you've got Softcat. Well, Softcat came out of the search yesterday, and as you can see, trend is strong. Uh, earnings per share is growing. That's the blue line in the, uh, in the window below the price, and the stochastic has come up through 20. So that, that is an opportunity. Still on a hold on VectorVest. We need to turn to a buy before we would get on board. Okay. Right, let's wrap up your final slide. Well, yes, uh, I'm david.paul at vectorvest.com. Uh, I do a weekly webcast to our members every Monday afternoon. It's recorded. Anybody that would like to uh, listen to what we have to say, just uh, send me an email and I'll get you an invite. Perfect. On that note, David, thank you very much. Thank you, Moose. Thank you very much.